Greetings, dear jewelry lovers. Today I have a story for you about Marina of Kent's tiaras. The wife of the Duke of Kent, she was not only the owner of impeccable taste, but also a source of inspiration for Princess Margaret, and her style often remains an underestimated icon of the 20th century. The British royal family definitely boasts the largest circle and aristocrats with impeccable taste. All of them didn't just have a varied eye for trends, they created them, making their own habits and views on clothes part of history. Such was Marina, Duchess of Kent, born a Greek and Danish princess. In 1934 she became the wife of Prince George, her third cousin and fourth son of George V, the last dynastic union in the British royal family. On her mother's side, the princess was also the great-granddaughter of Emperor Alexander II. And her cousin Prince Philip later married Princess Elizabeth, who would be destined to take the British throne. Now, let's get to the most fascinating part, the jewellery. The first amazing piece of jewellery I would like to present to you is a tiara created in the early 1900s in the Cartier workshop. It was probably purchased by the Duke of Kent for his wife. The tiara itself is breathtaking, exquisite diamond curls form floral compositions, finished with delightful pearls. At first the tiara was more modest, but the mistress decided to make it even more magnificent by adding a row of pearls to the lower part. This decision gave the jewellery an additional grandeur. The tiara was truly Princess Marina's favourite, becoming an integral part of her image at various events and official portraits. In the princess's will, the jewellery was left to her youngest son, who enjoys continuing the tradition of wearing the tiara, making it a prominent part of his style. The princess's collection also includes unusual star-shaped hair clips, sometimes called orange blossoms. This jewellery was probably given to her by Grand Duchess Elena Vladimirovna. Princess Marina repeatedly delighted the public with her diamond stars, and it is worth noting that they matched her dark hair perfectly adding sophistication and luxury to her image. These exquisite hairpins were also in use by Duchess Alexandra's daughter, but after Marina's death it is not known to whom they passed on. It has become known that the princess had few jewels, and the diamond stars remained unowned for a long time. Another stunning tiara from the Kent collection was adorned with aquamarines and pearls. Created by the French jeweler Georges Fouquet in 1908, this tiara impresses with its precious stones, aquamarines, natural pearls ranging in size from 5.0 to 8.5 mm, and diamonds. At the Brussels exhibition of 1910, Fouquet presented a tiara in which aquamarines, being his favorite stone, epitomized his craftsmanship. The tiara was originally designed in the style of a kokoshnik, with translucent enamel, diamonds, and five ovals within which were floral motifs of Siberian aquamarines and pearls. In the new version of the tiara, the enamel was removed, leaving only the flowers grouped closer together and a modern mount. Still, despite the tasteful changes, Georges Fouquet's little masterpiece retains its character. Another marvelous tiara in the Kent collection was the Pearl Fringe. It first appeared on the Duchess in the 1970s and became another piece of the family's artwork. The small diamond tiara was purchased by Queen Mary of Teck in the 1920s and modified with emeralds. After Mary's death, it was inherited by the Duchess of Kent, Princess Marina, who gave it to her daughter-in-law in 1961, thus creating a new version that became the Pearl Fringe. The Duchess of Kent's daughter, Lady Helen, delighted her wedding guests by wearing the Pearl Fringe tiara for her wedding in 1992. This piece of jewellery is another magnificent piece of art from the Kent collection. Another of the unique pieces of jewellery was the Cambridge Sapphire Perore, created by an unknown craftsman in the first half of the 19th century. This exquisite piece of jewellery was inherited by Queen Mary of Teck from her aunt, the Grand Duchess Augusta of Mecklenburg-Strelitz, who received it as a gift from her mother, the Duchess Augusta of Cambridge, on her wedding day in 1843. The original set included a tiara, a long necklace and a corsage brooch. It is known that Mary of Teck, showing her love of jewellery, often enhanced it. Thus, some of the diamond and sapphire elements from the tiara were used to create earrings, chokers and sapphire bracelets. Even the corsage brooch underwent changes. The Cambridge Sapphire Perua was inherited by Marina, Princess of Greece and Denmark, Maria's daughter-in-law and goddaughter. Subsequently, in 1993, 
the original tiara was sold at a Sotheby's auction for financial reasons. In 1998, parts of it were auctioned again, but by the auction house Christie's. Thus, the fate of the Cambridge Sapphire Peru repeated the same fate as Georges Fouquet's tiara, first remodeled and then sold. The new tiara, known as the Kent Tiara Frange, was created from a long original necklace. Five brooch-shaped elements were masterfully attached to a modern frame, giving the jewelry a framed style. Princess Marina of Greece and Denmark, Duchess of Kent, inherited not only the first tiara from the collection we described earlier, but also a second tiara, this time from the collection of her grandmother, Grand Duchess Maria Pavlovna Senior. This tiara, like the first, was inherited by her daughter, Grand Duchess Elena Vladimirovna. However, due to difficult circumstances, the Grand Duchess was forced to sell it, along with many other jewels, to provide for her family. The tiara was purchased by Martin Bhairava Damon for his wife Molly Fink. It later became part of a wedding gift in 1934 for the Duke of Kent and Princess Marina when it was purchased by the City of London Corporation through Molly after the death of her husband. This delightful tiara returned to the Kent family in such a marvelous way, became known as the Kent Tiara Fringe. Made of gold and silver and set with diamonds, the Kent Tiara Fringe is currently owned by Maria Christina, Princess Michael of Kent. What makes this tiara distinctive is its uniqueness as, unlike many Kukoshnik-style tiaras, it cannot be worn as a necklace. Princess Marina regularly used her fringe tiara at ceremonial events, including the coronation of her brother-in-law, King George VI, in 1937. The tiara became an integral part of her image. Thirty years after Princess Marina's wedding, the Kent tiara fringe met the light again at the wedding of her daughter, Princess Alexandra in 1963. Thus, the tiara remained in the family and became the legacy of a new generation. Today, the owner of the tiara, Maria Christina, not only continues its traditional use, but also gives it her own style. On her wedding day, she skillfully complemented the tiara with a velvet backing and diamond necklace, giving it a special charm and sparkle. In 2019, the next generation of the Kent family, Lady Gabriella Windsor, also delighted wedding guests by wearing the Kent Fringe Tiara for the first time at her wedding to Thomas Kingston at St. George's Chapel, at Windsor Castle. Combining it with a veil and gown by Louise Beccaria gave the tiara a gorgeous new accent. Thus, this delightful tiara continues to delight in its splendor in the new generation of the Kent family. Which tiara impressed you the most? Share in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, let's get to 100 k For this I need your help. Write a comment. Like.